Hello, this is Brano, and today I want to talk about the Survivor's Clone Tutorial series. So before we begin, this tutorial is done in Godot 4.0. Godot, as you probably know, is a free and open source game engine. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you can go to the Godot website, go to downloads, and download the engine. As of recording, the engine is still in beta, so if you are watching this earlier, you can download the latest beta build by clicking on download repository, going to 4.0, and downloading the latest beta build. So what's in the tutorial? This tutorial is heavily based off a game called Vampire Survivors, which is heavily based off a game called Magic Survivors, which is heavily based off a game called Crimson Lands, which is heavily... you get the point. It's a game where you go around killing enemies with automated attacks. You can collect experience, level up and upgrade your character until you become an unstoppable killing machine. It's a very fun game which you can buy off Steam for $5 and it seems like everyone else is trying to make their own survivors clone so why not use this tutorial as a good starting point, either to make your own survivors clone or to learn the Godot engine. In this tutorial I'll teach you how to make a player character with 3 distinct attacks, 5 distinct upgrades, 5 different enemies, a main menu, a graphical user interface, a level up and upgrade system, or within a 5 minute gameplay loop. While this tutorial is intended to be for Godot beginners, you should still have a very basic understanding of programming before doing it. If you understand what an if statement is, what a for loop is, and what a function is, then you qualify for this tutorial. If you haven't done programming before, there is an absolutely excellent and free programming 101 tutorial in Godot's scripting language, GDScript, that has been made by a channel called GDQuest. Link in the description. The type of teaching method I'm going to be doing is to teach practical first, theory second. In school you probably experienced theory first and practical second, and if you've done game dev tutorials in the past, you probably know how difficult it is to understand practical and theory at the same time. I always found that I didn't really understand the theory until I did the practical work, and I feel like I'm not alone with that. I will be explaining my actions while I type, but if you don't get a concept right away, don't worry. I will be doing a theory time at the end of each episode. This will comb over the code we have written and explore some nuances after each episode. Hopefully this means that when the video ends, you don't just have working code, you actually understand how the code works and how to adapt it. If you end up liking this style of teaching, please let me know in the comments below. There should be 15 episodes in total, and if episode 1 doesn't show up in your recommended feed, you can find it in the description below. In addition, I will have a complete version of this project on GitHub for download below. This tutorial does contain assets that are not my own, but all of them are downloadable with the Creative Commons license, specifically CC0. This means that everything in the tutorial is yours to manipulate and use for whatever you want. Otherwise, to start your journey, go to the description below if episode 1 doesn't show up in your recommended feed, and click on episode 1 to begin the How to Make a Survivor's Clone in Godot tutorial.